The Sunbelt Conference Championship picture is cloudy as the regular season winds down, and the Texas State Bobcats can impact the race for the title with an upset this afternoon in Jonesboro. As they take on a team that's been a mainstay in the championship hunt for a number of years, the Arkansas State Red Wolves. On first down, a run for Anthony Taylor, breaking a tackle across the 30, skirts across the 35, and darts up to the 42-yard line. 17-yard pickup on the game's opening play. From the 36, snap to Williams, play fake, throws to his left, pass caught by Elijah King. Squirts it abounds inside the 20. At around the 17-yard line, what an adjustment of the football made by Elijah King. On second and goal, King comes in motion, left to right, hand off to Taylor up the middle, and Taylor walks in untouched. Touchdown, Texas State. Kickoff fielded by Haydell, the 6, running right to left, the head of steam across the 10, and across the 15 to the 20, 25, and stood up, and the ball stripped. Live at the 17. Who's got it? Red Wolves say they do. There was a pile of white, maroon, red, and black. And it's Arkansas State football. Trips right for Hanson, hands off to one, up behind right guard, charging forward, lunging ahead across the goal line. Touchdown, Arkansas State, as they cash into the turnover. Again, a wing to the right here on second and goal. High snap to Hanson, keeps it himself, dives forward. Good cutback move by the quarterback, Hanson, into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown this season. Two receivers on the way for Hanson. Final minute, 21st quarter. Red Wolves up by 10. Play fake for Hanson, pressured and down. Out he goes. There's Mitty making another play at around the 47-yard line along with Hal Vinson to bring up second down and 15. Here's a pass and a play action caught by Hutch White. Starting inside of midfield, and White takes the football down to the Arkansas State 44-yard line. Great opening play on this drive by Texas State. Wing to the right, two res one receiver on the way for Hanson. High snap, gathers it, play fake, throws over the middle, batted away by Easy Yama. Single receiver, short side left, two to the right for Hanson, third and three. Run for Mason, and the Bobcats stuff it. Easy on Yama and Jordan Mitty. Just stonewalled Mason there, the point of attack, and it brings up fourth down. 30 minutes in the books from Jonesboro. Your score, Arkansas State 16, Texas State 6. Snap back to Hanson, looking left, throws a slant pass, caught, and the receiver ran the football back behind the first down marker, and that will cost the Wolves the conversion. It's going to bring up a turnover on downs. A huge mistake made by Murray, who would have had it easily. From their own 16, snap to Williams, hand off to Brown, up the middle, 20-25, and there he goes. Inside of midfield, cutting left 40, 30-yard line, Red Wolf 20, 15, down to the 13-yard line goes Robert Brown. Here's a four-man A-State rush. Williams throws a screen to Taylor. Escapes out of a tackle, runs right. Turns the corner to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Diving! He's got it! Touchdown, Texas State! Oh my goodness, the Bobcats trying to set up that screen to go to the left. And when he cut it inside, I was thinking, where are you going? Your blockers are over here. Well, what do I know? And nice blocking downfield by the receivers. And here is the PAT by Hillborn. It's tipped and no good. Falls underneath the crossbar. And the Bobcats special teams woes continue. And again, Ripley punting into the win here. Look for the rugby style punt. Good snap. Rolls out right. He's going to run. Looking to carry out a fake. And the Red Wolves not buying it. Ripley is tackled to the 22-yard line. The Bobcats will lose yardage and a turnover on downs. Third and goal for the two. Could be four down territory again for Arkansas State. White motions out of the backfield, wide left. Snap to Hanson, keeps it himself and walks in untouched. For one of the easier touchdowns he'll score all year. His second rushing score, by the way, today. Now on second and seven, Hanson to throw, going in zone, leaping attempt is made. Touchdown, Arkansas State. What a grab by Kendrick Edwards against good coverage from Deshaun Waddick. Third and three from the 33-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Hanson, three wide, hands off to Mason, bouncing to his right, trying to turn the corner, but Brian London shuts it off. Tackles him from behind to the right hash. Maybe lost a half yard. Fourth down and three now coming up for A-State. Murray motion slot right now, slot left. It is a handoff, Mason. Stood up by Jordan Mitty. He's had himself a game today, Jordan Mitty. Another tackle right at the line of scrimmage where he has lived all day long. Fourth down and four. Bobcats bring a blitz. Hanson hits as he throws. Passes nearly intercepted by Anthony J.T. Taylor. And my goodness, Hanson took a shot 
from Brian London. Bounces back up. The Bob gets another turnover on downs, though. Your final score from Jonesboro, Arkansas State 30, Texas State 12. The Texas State Bobcat football season is presented by HEB. Welcome to the Brown Ranch in Beeville, Texas, where five generations of the Brown family have raised cattle since 1924. We're dedicated to doing things the old fashioned way, allowing cattle to graze freely, and we handle our cattle horseback to minimize stress. At HEB, we love working with local Texas ranchers like the Brown family. They do things right and always put quality first, which is one of the reasons why we're the number one beef seller in Texas. This is the local Texas Beef Department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Let's go, boy. Right here. Be awesome to have this guy around all the time. Let's go, boy. Right here. The lights all around. Let's go, boy. Right here. 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 I was wrong. This is where you belong. Now go before I change my mind. Let's go, right here. Let's go, Here's to the friends you can always count on. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Alpec Library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Coming out of the game, you know, it's a, it's a you know, uh, tough way to lose a uh, ball game when you don't, you don't play as well on offense uh, as you like to. Uh, only 58 plays, could not really get anything generated most of the day. Had a couple of explosive runs and uh, screen pass, but other than that, not much else. Uh, and then your opponent has 94 plays. Uh, you're not going to win the game. When your defense starts uh, average, uh, field position against them on their minus 45, you're not going to win many games. When you fumble a kickoff, give them the ball inside your 25, and when you take a punt and try to run it, uh, and you give them the ball again on, inside their 25, you're not going to win. Uh, that being said, the score was 16 to 12 uh, with about, I guess, nine minutes to go, 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. Uh, I thought our defense uh, really fought their tails off, played really hard. We didn't help them on special teams, didn't help them on offense uh, at all. Uh, we punted six, we punted nine times, uh, six of them with the wind. The wind was awful. Obviously, you guys that were there saw it and probably saw it on TV, 45 miles an hour gust. Uh, but we had six opportunities to punt the ball with the wind, and we didn't punt very well at all. Uh, so, uh, again, a big, big, big issue for us right now is our kicking game. And uh, we've got to find some guys through recruiting to, to help us improve that if we're going to continue to grow and get better as a football program. We wanted to get more skilled guys on our team, guys that can make plays, uh, both in the secondary and at wide receiver. Uh, that was a big challenge because we, we've been down numbers there since we got here with, with, with not only bodies, but actual guys that can make plays. Uh, at both positions, so uh, that's a big challenge for us. We still got to get uh, be better in the offensive line, you know, get some depth in the offensive line, and we've got to improve our depth and and uh, ability in the defensive line. So we got a lot of areas we've got to we've got to improve. I mean, it's, it's just not the skill positions. We're we're not there. We you know this will be really our truly our second uh, full fledged recruiting cycle. Uh, so you don't fix it all in 
you know, two cycles. You usually takes two or three cycles to fix it. So, uh, but we feel like we'll be on our way if we can finish the way we need to finish with this class. Some beers have a lot of ingredients, a lot of different ingredients. Our beer is brewed with four essential ingredients, barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on, brewed to be America's favorite light lager. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our Tech Library. So box derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> The Bobcat senior class is one of the smaller ones in recent memory, made up of just nine players. But what this group lacks in quantity, they make up for, and then some, in quality. This group is, uh, uh, again, they're, they're year one, they had no idea. Year two, they got it. You know, for the most part, uh, this group has figured it out, understanding this is why we do this. You know, they, you, you know you're always trying to find the why. Why are you doing things? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And I think this group understands. So this group is able to help a lot of our young guys understand the why. Nothing against last year's group. Last year's group was trying to figure it out themselves, so they couldn't help anybody. Uh, this group has been able to help our young players grow and mature a little bit, and I think that that's why this group is really important. Uh, yeah, it was a great opportunity to me for, to, uh, for, to be a leader, you know, show the leadership skills that I've learned from the uh, quarterbacks that I've been under uh, in the past and, and just and just preach to those guys, you know, the right things to do on and off the field. I've gained some of the best of friends here, and the school's great, the atmosphere of the school, and then the education is great overall, too. Amazing to me, I mean. I have a group of guys vote you to be captain, especially when you weren't expecting. Like, I wasn't necessarily expecting to be captain. I didn't go rallying for it. So it shows, like, a love your teammates have. And it's a love you feel for them. And you have to have it reciprocated back in that sense. is just amazing. When I think about it, I tend to tell myself, you're on the last You better enjoy them while you got them. So as soon as I start to think about it, my time almost done, something comes to me like, you got to enjoy what you have now. So that's what I get to that narrow-minded focus on trying to enjoy my last couple games you know I, I love I love this school I love this program I love I love playing on that football field I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it really badly but but I but I trust that the the blood and the tears and, and the sweat that we've put in at my senior class um, you know our legacy isn't gonna be really um, this year or last year it'll be next year and the year after that um, so that's our focus right now. Uh, we want to continue developing guys that are young and, and continue to um, lead the culture that Coach Withers has established in, 
and brought us into. Um, it works, um, the formula works, and uh, we're close. Those nine seniors, I told them in the locker room after the game, when we start winning, and I said win, and when we start competing for a Sun Belt, and I said win, I said it's going to be because of you nine guys that are right here. I said it's going to be because of you nine guys, and I honestly believe that. It's going to be because of those nine guys that for the last 19 months have done everything we've asked them to do. From Gabe Lloyd and Gabe Schrade to Easy on Yama and Elijah King, this Bobcat senior class might be small, but the impact they've made has been big and will be felt for years to come here at Texas State. I'm Brandt Freeman, and we'll be right back with more of The Path, Texas State Football. Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Throughout the season, the assistant coaching staff has played a major role in the making of this Bobcat team and their performance. You know, we've got, we've got a young staff, and I think a youth on a staff and energy on a staff and the ability to relate on a staff and the ability of those guys to be great role models to your players are the things that I look for is in coaching. And, you know, we went 2-10 and 10 last year, and we had four coaches go take better jobs last year. Three of them were in BCS jobs. One's at Notre Dame, one's at Boston College, one's at Mississippi State. And you go, okay, you went two and 10 last year. Somebody's coming to steal all your coaches. <laughs> so uh, it scares me that that's gonna happen to us this year because we got a really good staff. And um, part of my job as a coach is to keep bringing those kind of guys into our program that are young, energetic, and by the way, they, they got good morals and, and uh, kids can look up to them. And to me, that's, that's what I try to do. You know, I'm, I'm getting older, so I'm starting to lose some of the touch with some of the, the new wave of things that's going on. So they keep me up on some of it. But uh, to hire really good coaches is really important. And, and hats off to our staff, man. They, they're, they're top notch. And again, I, I've, been, I've been knock on wood lucky as a head coach uh, at, at my third stop, uh, having a good staff. Downhill. Go! Get it! Get it! Hey! Jalen! Don't run like this! The whole point of these is put your shoulder pads down. Run with some shoulder pad level. Ready! Right, hey, hey. Go! Press it! Press it! Press it! Go again! Go again! Where y'all are supposed to go? Great snatch! Where y'all are supposed to go? Shoot them inside! Ball carriers coming your way! Hey! We're running, they're running the outside zone now! Let's go! Rushing, nice, nice, nice. rushing, oh, rushing. You got to scoot out this way. Yeah, back this way. Cause you're. Yeah, you need to keep coming. You need to keep. No, no, no. Your alignment. I'm sorry. Your alignment. Or back. Yeah, this way. No, no, no. This way. Oh. This way. Yeah. You good? Okay. Ah, kick the ball! Here we go. One's up. One's up. Let's go. One's up. Hurry up. Hurry up, I ain't got a lot of time. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. We got four minutes, man. Let's get this thing off. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's soft jam team. Oh. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, man. Come on, man. Oh. Good. Ah, uh, you use two hands. You got none left. One, two with your hands. Oh. One, two. Good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey, we're offense! Nope. Hey, you don't got time for your hands to be resting, bro. You're here. Hey, get in there. Who you got? Who you got? I'm here. Hey, it ain't. A, it ain't. A, we're not hanging out down here. Hey, we're, we're protecting the damn punt. You understand that? So we're here, ready to go. And I'm here. Boom! And I'm flying through. And I'm back in freaking Lake Ridge High School. Let's go. Here we go. Too late. You make them right. What I would do, sit my damn feet in concrete, don't let anybody cross that block spot, go left, right, make that one run the hump. Because somebody can screw up during the course of a play. Okay? There's 10,000 different scenarios. All right, now let's go over here and get the crap right. Let's go. Whatever you think it is, right, take two more steps. Two more steps. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, you're catching everything right here. Think high hands, hands from my eyes. Right, where do you think it's right here? Take two more steps. Be prepared, for, hey, read the nose of the ball. If it's down, it's gonna die, right? Don't take advantage of this time and not use it, okay? Because what happens, what happens when we abuse the time that we get? You probably won't have it again. Use your hand, Stone. Oh, use your hand. Oh, 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 oh. Although this season is coming to an end, the coaches' jobs are not done just yet. The end of this year will begin the season of recruitment as coaches will begin to build a Bobcat team for the future. Hey Bobcats, make sure to show your love and follow the Bobcats on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and their YouTube channel. Show off your tailgating skills and team pride and you could win a $100 HEB gift card and bragging rights. To participate, all you have to do is show your team spirit by decking out your tailgate site and displaying HEB products in a creative way. What do I like about Texas State? I love that we're close to Austin and San Antonio. The observatory, great stargazer. Our tech library. Our professors are amazing. Our round theater building. People watching on the quad. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Our campus is so beautiful. I love our flexible class schedules. Saving turtles at the turtle crossing. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. The new labs at Star Park. I love that we can express ourselves. Grabbing lunch at Jones. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Soap box derby. <laughs> I'm doing amazing research. I love the squirrels around campus. I love exploring new ideas at Common Experience. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. The courtyard at Taylor Murphy. I love our student art gallery. Climbing the rock wall at the rec center. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> With the regular season now over, it's time for a year in review. And for that, we're joined by a familiar voice, my broadcast partner on the Texas State Sports Network, Bill Colhane. Bill, thanks for joining us. Looking at the Bobcat season here in 2017, in terms of the win-loss record, pretty similar to what it was a season ago. But the comparison seemed to end there. Just how much progress has our program made since the end of last season? Well, Branson, you and I, during the course of the season, during the game broadcast, yeah, we've had this discussion topic really throughout. And while the records are obviously the same, when you just look at the play on the field in terms of how competitive the Bobcats have been in 2017 compared to 2016, I think you can stop right there. And you go back to the game at Bobcats Stadium against Appalachian State, and you contrast that game with the game at Boone in 2016. Completely different story. And even you know, the way the Bobcats have played against the likes of ULM compared to the season before and Georgia State and Arkansas State, you know, I could go on and on here. And so Texas State Bobcat football is in a much better position now in November, December of 2017 than it was 12 months ago. Bill, let's take a magnifying glass to both sides of the football and we'll start with the offense. A lot of youth on that side of the ball, but a lot of those players will be back with experience under their belt heading into next season. 
But you look at the quarterback position, and the Bobcats have some questions to answer there. They only got one year out of grad transfer quarterback Damian Williams. What do you make of the offense heading into the offseason? Well, first of all, I think everybody needs to, to tip a cap to Damian Williams. And Coach Withers himself has mentioned how Damian has helped the, the team offensively and in, in hold the fort at minimum because it would have been a lot to ask a freshman quarterback to – you know, try to run this offense with such an inexperienced offensive line with the injury issues the Bobcats have had in the skill position. So Damian Williams will be missed. And he's also provided leadership in the quarterback room. But looking to next season, who's going to take that first snap at Rutgers? I, I guess it would be obvious that Willie Jones the third is the front runner. But then you think about the likes of Jalen Gibson, who has traveled with the team throughout 2017 so he's gotten that experience and he's looked good in practice there is the possibility that the quarterback for the texas state bobcats in 2018 isn't on campus yet and i guess the i come up with three letters tbd texas state's defense which had a number of injuries throughout the season did have a remarkable turnaround year here in 2017 what made the defense so successful this season bill and what players are you most excited to see going into next year well, I think it starts with, with the scheme. The guys on the defensive side of the ball having a better understanding of what Randall McCray, the defensive coordinator, and Coach Withers and the rest of the defensive staff, what they have in mind on how the Texas State Bobcats defense is going to look. And you and I saw, with the exception of the game against UTSA at Bobcats Stadium, and then you throw in the job that Juan was able to do for Arkansas State in the run game, Week in and week out, the Texas State defense against the run was very good. So the defense is getting much better at that. Obviously, there are some things that the Bobcats have to do in shutting down the opposing passing games. And to answer your question, who do I look forward to seeing in 2018? I don't think there's much question at all that Frankie Griffin and Brian London are two guys who, in their relatively short Bobcat careers up to this point, have been very good football players on the defensive side of the ball. You know, Sammy Watt is going to be back. Savion Patton is going to be back. Dean Taylor, Jordan Mitty, what more can you say about his growth in this Texas State defense? And and that's the funny thing, isn't it, Brant? When you're talking about Texas State Bobcat football, we were all at senior day. That was a short ceremony. Bill, this was year two of the Coach Withers era here at Texas State. And again, while the record similar to what it was this time a year ago, there was marked improvement from last season. What kind of impact has Coach Withers and his staff had in their two seasons here at Texas State? Brant, you and I clearly spend a lot of time around this football program. And therefore, we get a unique glimpse into Texas State Bobcat football in that we're around the team. And you can just see... I know it's subjective, but you can see how the culture is, is taking over on the expectations that, that Coach Withers, his staff, and the veterans in the program have for the team. And we're talking about outstanding representatives of Texas State University. And it hasn't translated into the wins that Coach Withers wants. But if you have guys on a day-to-day -day basis doing things the right way, on the practice field, in the classroom, in the community. That will eventually translate into wins and hopefully bowl trips and conference championships and all those other accolades that, that we can't wait to see. Thanks again to Bill for joining us here, and that will do it for this week's show and for the season of The Path, Texas State Football. I'm Brant Freeman reminding you to trust the path. We'll see you next year.